Okay. Are the terms same, different, one, and self? Are they defined or described in the first hypothesis sufficiently? Ideally? And on this, and if there are there, if it is possible, if so, Like, so what, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> why go through this unless, <clears throat> unless he defines it so strictly that it's only because of such distinctions that he can come to the conclusions that are important. Okay, that follows equally well if they are not distinguished then one cannot come to those conclusions which seem to be important otherwise, right? Oh, cool. yeah. Right? That's the way to go? Yeah. Oh, good, good. I hope you're not offended for this, Virginia. Aha, uh I'm moving fast. Hey. Easier. Well, sometimes sure. time to go, sometimes it's not. Oh, and the back row is better. Thank you. You're welcome. Any time. Okay, this is the issue. Okay. Um, to do is just do a bit of reading. Um, Okay, let's try it, get a couple of readers from 138B, okay? Well, we have two places where... Oh, we... Where, I mean, where are we, we going to pick it up at? 138B. Okay. Okay, now, I just... I think it would be best if we just look at it, have it read, open it to discussion, okay? All right, go ahead. Okay. But surely himself were indeed. No, no, no. Not there? The English. 
uh, his translation first. Okay, I, I'm at 138B. Is yeah. that where I was supposed to be? Yeah. Well, mine begins, but surely if self. Is that, that's not your translation? Do uh, so you have it as itself? No, I have, uh, if self were in itself. You have it, if it were indeed in itself. I have, if self were indeed in itself. Okay, Let, let's change that. Uh, I must have a later. An okay. older and earlier one? That's okay. I want to use it. So, uh -huh. uh, Nobody else volunteered to read, right? I didn't hear anybody. Okay, it's the use of the word. Go ahead. Do it I again, don't want to elbow anybody out. Where surely if itself. Were in, if self were indeed in itself, then self would also contain itself. And if indeed, by being no other than self, self would be in itself. For it is impossible that anything not be contained by that in which it is. For it is impossible. Okay. 138. 138B, like boy. You need a pen? No, no, sure. Okay. S Jeffrey, um, Juan Balboa's latest translation is on Noetic Society or Archive? Noetic Society? You can get it both places. Both places? Okay. Because I was just telling you. Yeah. So you're going to look up works by Balboa or something okay. like that on the, <clears throat> the sidebar. The assumption is that there is no difference between these two words. And English. Would you agree? If you have it. And what? These two works in what? In English. In English. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. The assumption is there's no difference. Agree? By the way, is there any difference? Yes. What? <laughs> what, what kind of difference? Just because it's itself doesn't mean it's equal to the self. You can have a dog itself and it's not equal to the self, is it? No, no, don't ask me, just tell me. Well... Here, try it this way. Would you pass me my tape and go back? <laughs> It's had its time in the light. No, I'm just joking. I decided I wanted it where I could see it. Because sometimes it turns itself off. To what kind of things can you apply? These two terms. Okay? Like, tell me. Uh, but by the way, have you ever seen one, have you ever seen one of these? Yeah. Uh, what is it itself? What is it in itself? Uh, by the way, have you ever seen one of these? Things? Yes. Uh, what is it in itself? Uh, Can you use it for this? Well, what's a cup in itself? What's a cup itself? Man? Wait a minute. So what can I not apply the idea of itself? Nothing. Then it's ubiquitous. It yeah. covers everything. Yeah. Which is why you'd say it's either the same or different than the idea of self. Right. Go ahead. No. Read. Oh, why? <laughs> Because you can't do that with the self. 
because you can make a distinction on this basis that separates the one from the other. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> Your With the self? Since you can distinguish one kind of term from another by this explanation, then you have separated them and distinguished them so they are not interchangeable. Okay, yeah. Right? Yes. That depends upon whether or not it is true that the word itself can be applied to everywhere. Wait a minute. Yes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Dare you to do it with this. You sure, why not? What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, with, uh, however... No. I don't think so. Oh, no, see, we can't accept that, can we? Hmm. Because you said, I think. No, true. I'll it, no. All right, no qualification. Yeah, no. All right, right. Yes or no? You go along with this reason? I reason? go along with Bradley. Julie? No. Well, she, then we hold up the show. Your move. Good. Well, he seemed to change his mind. No. No. So you say they're the same itself and self? No. Oh, I agree with them. <laughs> Uh, pardon me, then, then how would you conclude? I would agree with him. Ah. <coughs> Any objection? <coughs> okay, look here. <clears throat> now we go back in the text. What difference would it make to include the idea of self, not itself, in that passage? Hmm. Well, you know, literally they're both in the passage, right, Pierre? Yes, they are both in the passage. Okay, literally. And, but there, if, and therefore... Well, and therefore... Um, in the Greeks, hmm. there's a difference. Yes, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah keep interesting. Going. Well, I mean, just it says if self were in itself, would be interesting. It's like the itself of self sounds kind of peculiar. Uh, I don't know. Peculiar. Do you know what you mean by peculiar? Well, it sounds, it, it sounds impossible. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. Uh, do you think it's impossible? For the self to be in itself? Mm. Hey, for if anything is in no, itself, I mean, there it's must impossible. be something in which it would be. Right. Right? So there would have to be an Container. A container, right? And that which is contained, right? Contained. What do you think of that notion? Well, it doesn't go along with the rest of the uh, hypothesis. Uh, so you'll drop it for that reason. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Okay, back into the text. Well, well, I think it just suggests that self has a shape, doesn't it? Yeah. Like it's the same. Go ahead. You pointed you out. Know, hold it. Hold, hold it. You pointed out that that is not consistent yeah, with yeah. other things in the text. Yeah. So you'll have to find those things in the text to answer Julie's point that she thinks it's quite possible Make that that end. condition could be fulfilled. Go ahead. Thank I think the problem is that the neutrality doesn't have to be one. Because there's, if it was in something, then it would be true rather than just one self. Look, watch this. Here's a question, okay? Why does he reason about the self uh, only? after uh, discussing the idea of the one. Hmm. Because nothing can be said about itself? Okay, now see. 
the question that Julie raised is going to be difficult to answer in terms of the self, <coughs> unless you assume a lot of things, but it's easier following his way of reasoning, which is what? About Here. The one, yeah. You reason about the impossibility for the one, and he passes on and says the same reasoning applies to the self. Right. Okay, so can you then say why the one cannot be within some because, within itself? Because then it wouldn't be one. Why not? Because if there's a container and something in the container, then that's two. What do you think of that? Right? The container? Just one second, I'm going to turn this on. That which is contained? Therefore, you're not talking about something that is a pure one, but at least many. See, you're talking you're at least two. About the one. Uh -huh. so okay, what do you think of that? The one will never exist in another well, And then the argument. Good beginning. So, yeah. I'm thinking of a self that has a shape that both is that itself contains itself. You want to argue, in spite of what we're saying, yeah. I still want to hold this position. That's true. You do want to. I can, yeah, I do want to. Right, right, right. But if this is the way he reasons, finish it. No, it's okay. It's one shell. No. But yet it's I'm sorry, so I'm curled up that you can talk about the outside containing. Well, then there are two parts to a snail. It's shell and what's interior to it. No, I'm not talking about the snail being inside the shell. I'm talking about just the shell. The okay. way it's curled. Oh, yeah, sure. Right? It's as though the outside contains the inside part just because the way it's designed, you know? Yeah, but literally speaking, you're mm -hmm. not, you need to add something more because because it has a design on the outside doesn't mean it's something that's going on inside of it. You're just describing the exterior design. Agree? Yeah. yeah, so therefore you can't connect them. You need something else to connect those two ideas. So yeah. you may not you may not have it now, but you when yeah. you do have one, it's important you to be able to bring it on the table. Okay, all right, shall we go? Risk. Can I add one? What about, Kevin. Like, what about a drop of water in an ocean? Isn't that containing itself, but it's also one? What about, what about, do it again? What about like, a drop of water in an ocean? Doesn't it contain itself, but it's also one? Like, when the drop of water is in the ocean, isn't it no. contained? No, no, no. You think that's true about the salt, though, just because it's true about water? It could be. Well, it could, you can have to try to give a possible argument of the way in which it might be or could be in order for the discussion to go on. Right. Well, I guess I'm going to use the water for as a lesser analogy. Um, okay, then you shift for another analogy or try to find it within terms of water. Yeah. Because when, let's say you have like a drop of water that's outside the some, like, pond or something, then you can say it's two. But once it's in the water, it's both contained in itself, but it's also one. But you can still abstract out the two. Yeah, the goal is not. <clears throat> the, the goal is whether or not you can find an example that would show the identity or difference between the idea of itself and self. That's our that's yeah. our primary goal. Yeah. So we're trying to see how the word itself can be used and whether. 
whatever we reason about it, the word itself, can we apply all of that reasoning to the idea of self, or are they so distinctively different that we cannot apply one to the other, is where we're, the subject that we're on, <coughs> right? Is, is the word itself even in the Greek? Yeah. No. A out to. Well, there's A out Well, itself, later, yeah, yeah. Okay, let, let me hold back. Please remark. Oh, I was just going to say that, uh, Jeff, do you realize something is tapping? Maybe it's you. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. I don't know what is doing it, but it's gone when you stopped. So, See, and it it's, was really... Yeah, itself is with the epsilon sorry, in front of us. Sorry, epsilon, itself. yeah. It, epsilon, it, 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 if you look under the Greek, you'll see in itself has N A auto, A right. auto, right? Right. So you have auto under self and A auto under itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the A auto can mean, depending, her, himself, herself, itself. Oh. All of those things. It's, so it's a kind of pronoun form. Yeah. But it's composed, as you can see, with of a prefix and the word auto. Mm -hmm. So it's tricky. But yeah. they use it arguably for anything with the meaning of himself, herself, itself. That's a yes. Yes, that's a yes. So now, what's your point? Well, I was just saying that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's curious that they would even use that kind of language if we follow this reasoning. Oh, well, that's natural. Because we're reasoning about it, and you may come to a different conclusion than translator, and we're, that's normal. Well, uh, but I mean, uh, even uh, if we don't look at the translator, if we look at the actual Greek, that, that's it's, what we're doing. Yeah. It's still strange. It's still strange. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did he explain what he meant by strange? No, it's a little bit like the word peculiar. Well, yeah. Someone else will ask you. <laughs> Come on. It's strange. it's strange. It's strange because if we, if we reason this way, we find that it can't be in itself. However, the, the, there is a Greek word which means itself mm -hmm. in the sentence. So mm -hmm. that's, that's why I'm saying it's strange. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I don't know, someone way on the back. Yeah, yeah. You, asked, I thought you asked the question, why does he reason about the self after discussing about the one? But wouldn't that be difficult for the one to be in itself? And he shows that that reasoning isn't possible with the one. So he, when you're talking about oneself, then the same applies to the self. You can't also say, that the self, which you've already described as one, would be in itself. Well, That's one part of your discussion. The other is, does itself uh, equal self? And that seems redundant. I don't see any reason to add itself. Okay. All right, let me go then. Okay, back into the text. Uh, also, if you send so, me an email address, or give it to me, I'll send uh, this to you. Either way. Um, let's see. So we now, are at. See, um, there are two itself. There's a it and itself in there. Mm hmm. Right? And what do you want to do with that? Because the word under it is still the idea of self. Yeah, your text has it. My text has if self or. So I. Th and this is a. Late one. Yeah, we'll use so your later like one corrected. rather than oh, mine. Oh, you're doing with yours first. No. So you're saying if we had only if it were indeed in itself. Is that what you have? But surely, mm. if it were indeed in itself, then it would also contain itself. Mm. And if indeed by being no other than itself, it oh would subsist in itself, for it is impossible for anything not to be contained by that in which it is. Mm. Okay. I'd rather use the latest translation. Cause you well, were... it, well, I have, but surely if self were indeed in itself, then self 
would also contain itself. And indeed, by being no other than self, self would be in itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's substituted for the it mostly. Yeah. In other words, we're getting rid of the it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Does that change the meaning? Oh, I think so. Yeah. That's the issue. Does it change the meaning? Uh, yeah. Right. Right. In other words, we are now suspicious of the use of this word. And we mm -hmm. want to make sure it follows the Greek. Mm -hmm. I, I just realized that it's not weird. What, what I was saying earlier, it, because this sentence is like, it's a hypothetical. I, I was thinking uh, it's, uh, that he's actually asserting it, so I'm perfectly fine now. Pardon me, the weird. whole thing is hypothetical. Right, right. Yes. All right, okay, all right. Right, ready? Right. Maybe we can go further. All right, look Two. here. Okay. Uh, uh, in order to, to see how he is using these terms, we're going to have to read maybe two and a half pages. All right, how about it? Mm. Now, if there's anything along the way that you want to raise questions about, hold your questions, we'll ask, talk about them later. But I'd like to get to the sev several passages where I believe he does describe them in the proper use. Okay? All right. Let's pick it up from there. We need another reader. Thank you. Okay. So. For it is impossible. Perfect. Is it not so then that on the one hand, the self that contains is one certain aspect, while on the other hand, that which is being contained is different. Oh, I see. Hmm. Oh, you, shall I just stay with the translation? I guess that would be the easiest thing. So let me read it again. Is it not so then that because he's, Please. in my translation, he's not translating heteros no. as different, yet that's one of the terms that's we have right. in our list. That's right. Now we're into so. this word, aren't we? Yeah. Right? And I'm going to ask, what difference does it make if that word is there rather than same? Right, rather than same, same or okay. different or right. something. Take a look, please. Go ahead, okay. read it again. Is it not so then that on the one hand, the self that contains is one certain aspect, while on the other hand, that which is... I know. I thought... Pierre was saying that we should read it as it is in the text. That's right. And then see what difference it makes to translate it as different. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Do it over. Okay. Is it not so then that on the one hand, the self that contains is one certain aspect, while on the other hand, that which is being contained is another? For the same whole can indeed not be both acted upon, or passive, and also be the creative act principle, or active. And in this way, the one would no longer be one, but two at once. Well, then it would not. Accordingly then, accordingly the one is not anywhere, by being neither in itself, nor in another. It is not. Okay, that goes back to Julie's point, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, you want to read it again with different in there, or what? Yeah. Or Ju Julie, do you want to read it? Well, with the different put in, I would say, is it not so then that on the one hand, the self-comprehending is different, while on the other hand, that which is being comprehended for the same whole can indeed not be both acted upon passive and also be the creative principle active. And in this way the one would no longer be one but two at once. For then it would not. So is that the proper use of same? The same whole? 
say, I, I see that you're going to be a lot of difficulty in going through this. So therefore, let's just go to the paragraphs that we have in, that are key in, in this dialogue, and let's focus on that, okay, rather than trying to make okay. correct as we go along. Yes. All right. Okay, look here. Uh, uh, we already know there's a problem with the word different, right? That is to say, he often exchanges one for the other. Right? So. Wait, what? He, pardon? He exchanges one for the other. That's he, right. He exchanges different with same? That's right. He chooses the word. Other, at least. Okay. Well, well, well it seems there's like a, it was an interesting. Hold it. Look here. Mm -hmm. He also does this. He uses the word other also as a, rather than use the word different. He'll go between these. Uh, so, look here, let's go to the paragraph to point. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go to uh, 139C. And most certainly, And most certainly, by being the same with the different, or other, it would be that. Thus it could not be self. So that neither in this way could it be just as it is, one, but the different one. Huh. I substituted different. That's right. Uh, and does that make a difference? 139C. Right. Okay, it raises that point. Now watch what he does with it. Go ahead. Okay. Um, accordingly then, on the one hand, it will not be the same with different, or uh, different, no? Go ahead. Or you want me to read it with other, or would you do prefer? Corre correct it. Okay. Accordingly then, on the one hand, it will not be the same with different, or different than itself. Are you in 139C, Barbara? Yeah, now I'm the, I, I read 139C, Steve, yes. and now I'm one Parmenides below 139C. Got it. And it's important that we, if we make, don't know that it's okay to find out this where we are. So, yeah, okay. this is consistent with what we were reading. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead. You've already said it before, and it's a distraction. Well, sometimes there's difficulties in hearing, right? And you're thinking of other things, so sometimes it's okay to ask. Have you ever considered a hearing aid? Or, or, uh, or maybe I'm reading something, Jeff. You want to get into a discussion with me? I'd be very happy to. You maybe got something better to read than this? Pardon? You got something better to read than this? Excuse me, I don't think you heard what I said. Be if I okay, shall we go <laughs> back? You need to hear sure, you're going to pick up Aristotle's? Yeah, sure. It Sorry, I've been skipping over you quite ruthlessly. Well, it could not. I don't think it's. Uh, it's okay. Well, it could not, right? but, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, surely it will not be different from different, or different from a different, so long as and insofar as it is one. For it is not proper for the one to be different than anything, but simply different, and not in any way other from different. Okay. Watch what he's doing in that sentence. He is separating the use of the word different in a unique way. Mm. Can we see that one more time? Yeah, take a look. Look here. He's defining different as the most important paragraph for these kinds of discussions. Go ahead, do it again. But on the other hand, surely it will not be different from different. Right. So long as it, so long as, and in so far as, it is one. Mm -hmm. for, for it is not proper for the one to be different than anything, but simply different. But not in any way other from the different. But not in any way... 
Yep. Not yep. in any way different. Well, yeah. go ahead. not in any way. Do you see that's yes. aloe underneath yes. there? Yeah. That's why I read it as other. I think you're right. Go ahead. Thus, on the one hand, it will not be different since it is one. Or what do you think? Okay. Okay. I want to ask you now, as you look at that paragraph, is he defining the word different exclusively in a very interesting different way yes. than we normally ever use it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes. Then that shows that this term, he's defining it uniquely. And if we don't yeah. keep that in mind, then we're not following his reasoning. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Can you, can you okay. help me out exactly what is it that he's defining? You're saying it's defined different. uniquely. Different. Could you spell out what exactly is it that he's defining uniquely? I know it's different, but you're saying that it's unique. Well, Go if ahead. you look at but simply different, not in any way other from different, that um, most the way we usually understand different is uh, is between two things, and they're saying he's saying here that it's own, it's simply different. It's not diff right. It's not not different from another. But it itself is different. Right. It itself and the idea is of contrasting it with anything else right. is immaterial. So not you, mean, you mean different is is in itself different. Is that what you're saying? from the normal way of reasoning with that word. Okay? But when you say normal, well... All right, now watch. All right? Oh, I guess we're not supposed to... Two more paragraphs and watch what he does. Thus, on the one hand, it will not be different since it is one. Or what do you think? Sorry, I've already read that. No. Not in any way at all. But surely, if not by reason of this, then it will not be different from itself. But if self is not at all different from self, then by being in no way different, self will be different than nothing. Hmm. Right? That's a further... Refinement? Refinement of the idea of different. Now watch what he does. Hold that. One more. What is a nor yet will it be the same with itself. Why not then? For surely the nature of the one is not in the same way as self and the same. Why? Got it? What did he just do? And hmm. he Aristotle's to... response is quite legitimate, but you have yeah. to see the point he's making. What is he making there? Well, that the nature of the one. The nature of the one, right? Is not the as the self is, and self and same. It's hard because it has herself. The nature of the one is not in the same way as herself and the same. He's making a uh, clear distinction between the one, the self, and the same. Yeah. At least he's saying that they are not each other. Mm -hmm. Although he does say the nature of the one. And they're not different. I don't, know about, I don't know about they're not different. No, you can't use the word different right. in that sentence. Okay? All right. How is he using the word same? Same thing. Mm. The nature of the one mm -hmm. is not at all the same. Mm hmm with anything you call the same. Mm -hmm. See, it has that force. Wow. Right? True. And that's another unique definition. Uh, right? same. A same. And therefore, in the text, he's very clear about the use of these two terms. Right? Yep. Wait. Do you see it? Yeah, uh, hold I on. I, I don't see that it's a definition of same. Okay. No, no, it's not a definition of same. It's describing how he will use the idea of same. Oh. 
by saying that it's not the same as the one? No. The one. I mean, no matter what you do, it's not the same as anything. Right. Right. No, because the idea of same is not compatible with the idea of the one. Right. Mm. Hold that. Reread it with that in mind. See what oh, happens. Oh, I got it. I think I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for surely the name of the one is not the, in the same way as the same. Look, she. <clears throat> uh, wait a minute. I don't want to go into that yet. Okay. Uh, do we have now two unique ways of using the word same and different? Mm-hmm. All right. Watch. the three primary ideas in <clears throat> metaphysics uh, <clears throat> actually four but I'm keeping the fourth one out of there for a moment is um, Usia is that power of the mind that turns upon itself. Right. Nearly all translators use the word same, not different. Now look here. What makes the word different more fundamental than the idea of same? Pierre, do you yes. mean same or do you mean other? Oh, other, same thing. Okay. Well, that would be interesting to see. It comes, it comes. Just talk about this for a moment. Let's pick up that point, okay? How is the idea of same and other necessarily connected? Mm, well, doesn't same apply same with something and therefore another? Is yes. that what you're meaning? That's one. That's one difference, things okay. are one. Would you agree, if you want to use the word same, it presupposes more than one? Yes. Mm. Other. When you're talking about something other, you are already implying two. Mm -hmm. So these words are often interchanged. But we want to know, why is there a priority? Why is he stressing difference? See, these two paragraphs are, are describing hmm. the, their essential difference. Hmm. Right, so, uh, let's vote. Let's decide by vote. <laughs> okay. All right? <laughs> no. What? No, wrong. <clears throat> well, look here. Shall we use our usual principle? Yeah. Always. When in doubt, call on Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No wisdom here, sorry. How, does, how are these distinguished such that you can show that one has a priority over the other? That's the issue. When you say one has a priority, you mean how can we show that different is, it is more applicable or better word or is that what you mean no. by okay or of you more primary metaphysical significance hmm. does okay. it have something okay so i'll take a shot actually does it have something to do with the fact as you guys were all saying that same and other both imply two but different yeah. can just be a one that's interesting different can just be a one mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Liquor. Wouldn't you agree, Kevin, that we should get someone to volunteer over for a question? Good, 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 good. Uh, do you agree? Yes. What, what, volunteering? Well, shall we agree? <laughs> shall we vote on whether or not we give this job to Eldar? I think you, you yeah, we can assume I, 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 see, the... Uh, it's obvious. Okay, all right, thank you. I didn't want to make the judgment. Unanimous. So. Will you judge whether the answers that are given satisfy the question and not whether or not the things that are being said can be true but do not affect the question itself? I'll do it under one condition. All right. What's the question? <laughs> 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 well, you know, did, Jeff, did Jeff's answer answer the question? Exactly. I think this is Pierre's like really charming way of saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's so important. <laughs> I was trying to get in there, but I myself knew I didn't really answer. No, see, I was in a discussion over the weekend with a guy, and uh, uh, we were reasoning along. <clears throat> on a couple of interesting points. And uh, so the question was put to him, and he answered in a beautiful way. By the way, it uh, didn't have anything to do with the question. <laughs> you know? So I asked it again and pointed out that there are great merits in the answer that you gave, but uh, the question <laughs> remains. So he gave even a more brilliant answer. Mm. And so I said, you know what? Uh, what we must settle for this discussion is t- t- what principle shall we use to decide whether an answer answers a question? Yeah. And I propose that an answer should satisfy all the questions that might remain or are, impl- are implicit in whatever discussion you're having about anything. Mm. That is to say, it's like a, wheel, uh, a barrel, right? rain barrel, right? when it's full, it bursts. Mm. There's nothing left. Ah. That's what an answer should do mm. to the question. There should be mm. nothing left over to wonder about. Cool. Right? Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. See, so he agreed. Yep. <laughs> well. So go back to the cone. So we go back. Yeah. But the so question is, we're is back to the question. How can you decide whether there is something in the nature of the idea of difference, which if you understand it, you'll see that it has a superior status over same or other? Mm. Right, that's still the question. Or would you say, no, no, he answered it. Well, the no. reason why you're not going to be able to recall it is because it didn't re- address it. But go ahead, what should, can you recall what he said? I think he said it's because uh, the same and other have something to do with duality, whereas different can be one. His answer was something like that. Thank you. That's very good. Very good memory. Thank you. Uh, would you say that answer the question? No. But it was a good answer? Yeah. I enjoyed it myself. Yeah. Maybe it, maybe it, maybe it's part of the answer. Oh, thank you. Part, part, okay. All right. Part, all right. Because, right? Because, well, would you agree that that uh, that's true about uh, what he said is true about those two terms? Yeah, he added the water into the barrel. Yeah, so, how right. About, let's look at it. How about this for the barrel? Okay. Anything other than self with a capital S is different. I agree. That answers the question. And therefore, wait, 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 wait a minute. Does it? She said, no, I didn't. Wait, uh, Kevin, did it answer it? No. Uh, yes, no. They have to give the yeah, it was know. uplifting and beautiful, but it's not bursting the bubble. So wait a minute. See, the, burden, the burden rests upon Barbara to show that it didn't. And she is saying, no, no, it didn't. It's still there. Go well, I thought, I thought he had to show metaphysically it was a superior term. Yes. Right? to yeah. either of those other. Yeah. And I only heard the first term mentioned 
in a very high metaphysical position, yes, but I didn't see how it connected and made it superior to those other two. Right. So Therefore, the point, it's inadequate. Therefore, right. it's inadequate. That was sufficient. That was a good answer. Hold it. <laughs> I was just pointing out that was a sufficient answer, right? That was an answer from, from to a question. Why she did? No, no. No, no. But to her, her part. To my right. question. That, I'm sorry. That was a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, that's good, yeah. right? You're saying, as I look up, when I hear that, why, that's the answer to the question. No, no, to, actually, no, no to her, to why she wasn't satisfied. Pardon. Yeah. I was being challenged. Not important to, to whom uh, it is, yeah, the yeah. position. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't own ideas. Yeah. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think of that answer, Barbara Gay? Yeah, it's great. Then it's, it answers the question? No, 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 it answers why Jeff's answer isn't sufficient. Thank you. Yeah. Completely. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now, you offered it could be a part. In what way might it be a part? Well, just in what was already agreed that one is metaphysically uh, higher than duality. And if, if difference is one, right, and same and other are a duet, then you already have a hierarchy, right? But uh, that's not sufficient. Well, how, wait a minute. How do you know it's not sufficient? Good. Because it does, it's incomplete. That's right. Do you see why it's incomplete? Yeah, okay, good that you see it's incomplete. Go ahead. Back row. Well, going back to Jeff, that is that if you have one, if there's something... You have to have different before you can have something else than the self. And you can't have same if, I mean, same means that uh, you can then compare that which has been designated as different. And you can also compare it in terms of whether it's the same or other. So hierarchically, different okay. would be Okay, those are primary. three separate reasons and a conclusion. Right? You got the three points she made? No. But I, well, but I we'd, heard we'd, that they were distinct. Pardon? And I don't know that they solved the hierarchy issue. Yes. Although the, you used the term, Gina, I didn't see that, you, that, that your answer, while it made distinctions, showed hierarchy metaphysically. Well, I saw that if you have to first have different, otherwise it's all one. If you don't have that, then, that's, then you have different. Then you can then compare with same and other that different between the two. Hierarchically, then different would be primary. Okay, that's it. Okay, that answer. You're yep. saying hierarchically different would be primary. No, just don't ask her anything. How? No, no, yeah. please don't ask her. Just judge, make the judgment. Did that answer? I don't know. Uh, I, did it answer? I, I think it's good. Did it? I think it's good, yes. Good, good. I think so. I think good. good. But you have to... I didn't hear it. Oh. I think you have to add something to it. Okay, By, wait a minute. Hold it. And, and, and Hold therefore... It, please. Oh, sorry. Okay. If you realize something has needed... To, something should have been added to it, you see a weakness in it. Yes. Right? Yes. So you would say that's not a complete answer. Yes. Right? Fine. Anyone else agree with Barbara? Good. Now, Barbara's choice now would be have to show that, that there's a missing piece that makes that answer inadequate. Not that it isn't a nice answer, right? Mm. Well, I don't actually have the missing pieces, but it seems to me that in saying that when you have the one and then the only thing you can say about it is that it's different and that will then let you get Another thing that you can compare it to and call it either same or other? No. Well, Hold that's it. the part that I'm missing, the Please connection. I, I just don't see yeah. okay. what's okay. being generated. Like, is it that, so if I, if I try it this way, um, you need difference to have anything greater than the one. I'm going to call it greater. Anything generated from the one. You need difference. And, but, but that doesn't... So you have something generated, and I thought Gina was saying that whatever this is that you're allowed to get once you say 
different, you can then talk about it being the same with something or other than something. No, but okay. I still don't. But, I, okay, I'll but, let it go, because no, I'm no. not precise. No, oh, no. Don't, don't give up. Ah. You're kind of through your hand, so. Yeah, I was unhappy with, uh, oh. because I wasn't able to, the, the, the lack I saw being a lack of words, I wasn't mm. able to supply what I think should be there, right? Except that it seems like same and other should apply to something. Mm -hmm. If you use different for the one, but it's not different from anything, then how do you bring in same and other? Right. That right. might be a simple That's way right. to put it. That's right. And therefore, on that basis, it is? Inadequate. Inadequate. As an answer. Mm. I don't think that is accurate, though. <coughs> Pardon me, are you offering a new idea, a different idea? No, because I said that there is a difference. Whatever that difference is primary, you have to have something that's different in order to, to you have start. To, you, you, have to have to, you have to have something that is different, and then she continues. Mm -hmm. What we're interested in is how the idea of different can be primary over these other two terms. Well, let me finish. I didn't finish. Oops. You first have to have different. Lucia is different than the one. So you have two things different. You can't then, once that occurs, then you can compare what is the, what house, house is Lucia the same as the one? Or how is it other than the one? You, therefore, there's an established hierarchy. You can't have same and other before you uh, make it without making a difference. Wait a minute. Do you agree? Uh, Does it make sense to what we said? It makes sense, but I, I don't know if that's the right way of using the word different. Hmm. That's true, because it presupposes the answer to the question and her statement, which wasn't given. That's right. Um, which was what? Right? Which was what? I didn't, I didn't get that. I didn't either. What is uh, it I didn't get? What if, what if uh, uh, maybe, maybe someone else has said this, Regina or Barbara or something else, but what if same and other is a distinction you can make only within that which is different. And therefore, you have to have different first before you can talk about same and other. Okay. How is that answer different than Richard's, the last answer? In other words, one, I'm, I'm viewing it as like a Venn diagram, like you yeah. got different and then that's you right. slightly get. Now, if that's what Regina said, then. Yeah. Nope. I'll defer to her. That's right. But he, Jeff added within. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That was With, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was in yep. advance. Yep. Yep. That was in advance. Right? Ah. Right. There's nothing left over. It's over. Hmm. So, uh, I don't know. Anybody's barrel burst? Yeah. <laughs> 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 good. Good. <laughs> Say. Um, <clears throat> uh, both of these presuppose uh, things. Mm. Agree? Yes. Right. Two things. Whether, whether, however you want to talk about them, it presupposes yeah. that this exists. By the way, can any two or any two distinctions or any two of anything exist without a primary separation between them? Mm. No. Oh. Well, what makes the separation? Separation. The power of difference. Right. Crap, that's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Therefore, come on, go back to the terms. Huh? Therefore, in terms of metaphysics, you would argue that the primary terms are not one, usia, and same or other, but 
different. different. And how important is he making that point here? Very much so. He's separating difference and same, is he not? Okay. In order to talk about self, these distinctions have to first be made. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. See, because of this curious idea, because Parmenides' idea is so you have to talk about how this idea is connected with this. Hmm. So you have to you have to have an idea of one that's consistent with the idea of self and that can show its necessity. Hmm. And that's why he has to reason his way about the one and then he makes conclusions about the self as he proceeds. But hmm. in this process he wants to make sure that you can see how to use these three terms. Right? Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And he just did it, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, back into it. Go ahead. I think that's 139D, the second Parmenides under that or the third Parmenides one. Go ahead. Watch the next one. Since whenever? Uh, or pick it up from... Sure. Well, such a petty... Because at that time when anything... Whenever anything comes to be the same... Well, yeah. uh, our friend our friend Eldar asked that we reread that pivotal sure, sure, sentence. Sure, 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 sure. So, um, for surely... The nature of the one is not in any, while well, you were reading it as in any way the same as self and the same. What line are you at? I'm right now at 139D5 or so. It's the. For sure, number 52 if you got a number. I don't have the numbers, I don't know why, given that I downloaded it somewhere. Okay, I see. Okay. Okay. Go. Um, since whenever, okay, wait, wait, we're back. Okay, since whenever anything comes to be the same with anything, it does not become one. Mm -hmm. But what then it is? That which becomes the same with a many must come to be many, but not one. Sure. But if the one and the same differ in no way, then whatever, sorry, then when anything becomes the same, it will always become one. And when it becomes one, it will be the same. Entirely so. Okay, wait a minute. That's the use of the idea of same defined in that section. Do you see it? Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting use. Yes. So... You can even say it's a unique definition in it, right? Right. Like now we can come to a conclusion, okay? All of our reasoning now isn't settled in this one point. Okay, go ahead, Barbara. Accordingly, then, if the one is to be the same with itself, then it will be that which is not one with itself. And in this way, one being will not... Sorry. And in this way... One being will be not one, and but certainly this is indeed impossible. Accordingly, then, it is also impossible for the one to be either different from the different or the same with itself. Right. All of that reasoning is to come to that paragraph. Hmm. Hmm. So therefore, accordingly, the one he has just defined, we will exclude what two terms? Different and same. Right. Right. 
that that's the whole discussion. He first has to define how he's using those terms. Notice how strictly he does it. It's rather beautiful, isn't it? Right? And as you said, it's unique. It's another. They seem to be three yeah. unique definitions. They seem to be unique. Yeah. The the def same, different and. Uh, other. Say other, one. other. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's what I thought we'd do today. Now, why don't we do some dreams, right? It's nine o'clock, let's take a break. Okie dokie. You know, Jeff, I think, I'm pretty sure I sent out an announcement about your house with all the math and uh, yada yada, mm -hmm. and I could just get the explanation from that. Good. Does that sound like it'll work for you? Right. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so let me give you a problem. Uh, <clears throat> if there is a primary one or self, for which all terms are inappropriate, all terms, even the most metaphysical, cannot be utilized to describe the idea of the self. Right, got it? Yep. Uh, well, how is it, given that, that the next physical, metaphysical term is a brilliant light of being? Why would it follow? I mean, how do you account for that Difference. Nice. That's the primary difference. That's why the issue of different is so important to Proclus and Parmenides. Right? That is the essential mystery, and you have to find some curious way of answering it. Rain barrel exploded. What? <laughs> yeah. What, what? Rain barrel exploded. That's it, man. Yeah. That's what we want. The rain barrel to explode. <laughs> All right, here's his dream. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. Because that's still a continuation from our previous.